Hey guys! Eat grain. Eat. Can can we have Gran look at the camera? It's it's this guy. It's Gran. It's Gran. Okay. Anyways, we are playing some Nintendo Land. Just as a little change. Because oh. Gamepad doesn't have music, that's sad. Um let me just temporarily put headphones in, I guess. Okay. So I apologize again. I apologize a lot. My videos. <laughs> I'm never prepared. Alright, this is the one I want. Alright. Now I can hear the game. Awesome! Which is a good thing, because... The game I actually want to play today is hiding behind this tree, I guess. There it is. Come on, go on. Come on. There we go. Alright. Let me back up here so I can see this. Octopus dance. Oversee party grooves. This is probably one of my favorite games of this thing. So if none of you know, um, this is basic. This is just a rhythm-based game where um, each of the of the joysticks control your hands. Um, you tilt, you can tilt left and right and swing up. And basically, you just have to mimic what he does. Alright, so basically, the main goal of this game is just to keep up with the rhythm, and um, basically it's easier to tell by looking at the back of him, so right now I'm going to be looking at the TV. And the gamepad has the opposite view. So, there's a lot of, if none of you know what Nintendo Land is, there's a lot of uh, mini games within it. It's pretty much just a big mini game world. So what that squid does, is it squids up my, uh, it dings up my gamepad screen, so it's hard to tell what he's actually doing, let alone see him through the ink. My microphone's really far away. There we go. So, um, I'm just gonna do this video, uh, this game for this video, and, um, if you guys want to see any other games played from here, um, just request them. You can leave in the comments what you want to see me play. Alright. 
Whoa. I lost track of what he did there. Alright, final stage. I'm, I'll probably go in... Oh, we have lots of time left for this video, so I'll probably go into the bonus stage. And I'll explain what that is. me up really bad. So, bonus stage. <laughs> bonus stage. Basically, um, he'll have the time on his back, on the back of his head, like how many beats there are for the one thing. And basically, I just have to keep going for as long as I can for that. So we're gonna go for it. So he'll even count it. <laughs> I did, <laughs> guys. Yay! Oh, the magic of recording. Oh, man. I made it all the way through. <laughs> Yay! All the stamps collected, guys. Awesome. That was honestly a surprise. Oh, look at all the coins. Lovely. So, um, with some of these attractions, there are bonuses, like uh, double coin bonuses, which are usually underneath the uh, screen on the right, which is currently changing. It currently says popularity, and now it says times played. And then I can go here. It's usually the only the solo attractions that have double coin day and like moments um but it'll show here that it's times to uh double the coins for that game so since i have some time left we might as well go into the first mission of pikmin adventures and i will pick up uh next video on whichever pikmin adventure whichever pikmin level that i leave off at So this one I play as Captain Olimar. Um, I'm I'm going to be using the left-handed settings, and basically my goal is just to beat the level according to its requirements. And there's my little buddy. It's Professor Oak today. That's cool. All right, let's go, Professor. So I have my own little Pikmin here. 
Uh, one, two, oh, one, two, three, four, five. And Professor Oak, which we can just, I can just throw at things. So we're just gonna break this open for now. Let's see what's around here. I can jump by uh, quickly sliding my uh, the stylus across the screen. I can throw Pikmin by tapping. I can also walk by holding down on the screen if I want, instead of using the instead of using the oop, right joystick. Instead of using the joystick, I can use a. Kind of just vanish there where it go. Instead of using the joystick to move, I can just slide on the screen if I want to. But I'm I feel much more comfortable using the joystick. I find a lot easier. And um, I can press ZR to use my whistle, or I can just tap on the icon in, the, in my bottom right screen, and I can pick up um, the player Pikmin, and all the other Pikmin will come over towards me. So basically gathering nectar there um, allows me to level up, and once I gather enough nectar, once I level up enough, my Pikmin will actually evolve into Bud Pikmin right there, level 5. And this allows my Pikmin to be more powerful, and I just flat out have even more Pikmin than before. So now we're gonna kinda just. I'm gonna wander in this. Oh, look at that, there's a piece of nectar there. There's some more nectar. Alright, we're gonna go in there. didn't make the screen that much better, but it's alright. It's not as bad as it was before. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I did, um... I started... I started doing recording different... Oh, well. Professor Oak just got knocked out. Apparently. That's upsetting. Get that nectar. Bring it to me! Destroy! Level 9, alright, we're almost flower pigmen. Alright, let's throw Professor Oak on top of one of these things. Put my pigmen on another. <laughs> what is this guy doing? Alright. There's a box here. Which is just gonna splat out. There we go. Alright, now we're Flower Pikmin. And, um... The little Pikmin allies can also get... Can, uh, level up to Flower Pikmin. And it takes just as much nectar to level them up as it does for Ulmer. Since it's just me, I'm not worried about uh, dividing out the nectar too much. Just poop. There we go. We can grab these coins. And the unnecessary nectar. Awesome. Right, let's head to our ship. We can finish this level. After we grab both coins. Awesome. Keep going. Let's go for level two. We should have enough time for level two. I think we might end it at level 
two, maybe? Probably. We'll end it at level two, and then... Um, maybe go do some coin stuff. Spend our coins. Ooh, bombs. I, I would like that very much. Give me another bomb. That was awesome. Uh, I'm jumping. I mean that nectar. Sweet nectar. There's a box over here that I want coin. All right. Let's check the flowers. All right. Let's keep going. Let's help him knock down the wall. Hi, buddy. How do you like getting hit? There you go. Keep on the move. Alright, there's something over here. And it's going awesome. <laughs> Nothing there. Alright, let's stay on this button and press Oracle stay on the other one. Alright, let's keep going. Let's check the flowers for nectar. Nothing, alright. Cool. Uh oh. That ain't good. Boom. Boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> Got pretty much all of them there. Give me the nectar, guys. You just go attack. Oh, that was it. Alright. I was worried I was gonna have to do more. Alright, I got an item. And I think got an item. Oh, we have a link this time. Awesome. I wasn't paying attention to who we had for our little ally. We have a link. So, um, I hope to do co-op games in the future for this, because the co-op games are just awesome on here. Like, the co-op games are one of my favorite things of all time. Oh, uh, not yellow guy. I don't want yellow guy. You can keep yellow guy. Alright, yellow guy's down. over here first. More nectar. I didn't even need the nectar. Go get nectar. Alright, you're level 5. Keep getting nectar. There's two more. One more. There you go. Alright. Let's go. Alright. Our item. Oh, we lost our hammer ability. Maybe there's more hammers in here. Let's open it up and find out. Nope. Alright. Get the nectar. Get the nectar. Thank you. Now let's go. <laughs> oh, we're not quite at the boss yet. Oh, 
Oh boy. That's not good. And go. Okay, there's a box. Get the nectar. Get the nectar. Once he's leveled up to level 10, I'm going to take all the nectar. You're wasting our time, dude. Alright, let's go. This has got to be the last battle. Dead. There we go. Awesome. You did it. Well, that is pretty much all the time we have for today. So, I will see you guys on the next adventure. Coins. There's a lot of coins. Peace out, guys.